After washing your hands and identifying the patient, explain the procedure to the patient. Sir, my name's Jim from Respiratory Care Department. We're going to take your blood pressure here this afternoon. Just going to roll your sleeve up, put the cuff around the top of your right arm, right around your elbow. You'll feel it getting tighter. As we're taking the reading, it'll gradually get lower. The pressure will get lower as we get the reading, and then we'll take the cuff off when we're finished. Identify your cuff, that make sure it's the right size for the patient. Um, identify the uh, arterial positioning for that cuff. Place the blood pressure cuffs on the patient's arm. Okay, you're going to roll your sleeve up. And place the cuff around your arm. Patient should be sitting up or lying down with the arm stretched out and at the same level as the heart. The cuff should be about one inch above the elbow. Wrap the cuff snugly around. Uh, the blood pressure reading may not be accurate if the cuff is too loose. Place the stethoscope earpieces in your ear. And then with your middle and index finger, gently feel for the pulse in the bend of the elbow. That's the brachial artery. Once you feel the artery, place the diaphragm of the stethoscope on the brachial artery and listen for a heartbeat. Then tighten the screw of the bulb and quickly pump the pressure up to above what the patient's normal pressure should have been to about 160 millimeters mercury. Loosen the screw and let the air out slowly as the gauge falls about five points a second. Carefully look at the gauge and listen for the sounds. Remember the number on the gauge where you first heard the thumping and continue until the gauge, uh, letting the air out of the gauge until the thumping stops. Start over. Yeah. Uh, okay. Write down your blood pressure, time, date, and which arm was used. Blood pressure is good, sir. 118 over 80. Okay.